Are you digitally transforming by understanding how consumers are consuming your business's platform? So you've got to, as a car dealer and as any business, understand what type of business you are first. Producer or platform business? And I've spoken about platform and producer businesses a lot in the last couple of months. But the point is, is that as a car dealer, I think you're both. You're a platform business on the internet as well as a producer business because you have products that you sell, okay? And are you using your platform to make your next website visitor's experience better? On your monthly agenda, do you understand, even although you might get 1,000, 10,000 or 20,000 visits through your website as a car dealer, yes it's low compared to auto traders, 12 million and 80 million pages, and, but it's still significant in your local SEO market. Are you understanding that journey through your platform and are you using each website visit to make the next website visit better? Are you digitally transforming by understanding how consumers are consuming your business's platform? And are you delivering more and more and more services online, transforming or digitally transforming your, your, your dealership over time? And the key to all of this is in the problem that we find ourselves with at the moment. Something that I'm hoping gets solved in the next while, and that is the over-reliance on traditional book values. What is a book value? <laughs> what is a book value anyway? It's a, is it a guideline? Was, okay. But so many dealerships, you know, the, 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 you guys that are here are probably in the top 10, 20% of dealerships in the country. Remember, we've got like 1,800 of you that are, you, because you're here, tells me that you're in that upper echelon. But there are hun literally hundreds of dealers that still use that as their go-to place. Okay, and I'm not knocking it because I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk it up slightly, right? But that, is not, that should not be the leading way in which you value a car. The leading way in which you should value a car is using live market data. Because data changes month, week to week, month to month. Consumer demand and supply. With the internet, we've got a proper economic model going on. We've got uh, supply, which is the supply of cars by uh, uh, all car sellers, you guys. And then we've got demand, which is all the consumers demanding cars, searching for cars, right? So that's supply and demand. That, the faster that that turnover happens, the, the quicker price changes. If you think about the traditional economic model, I had that experience a couple of years ago. I was looking for a Hyundai, Hyundai Tucson. 2017 model, I think it was 2018 or 2019, the price was at a certain point at the end of 2017. I looked at the platform, beginning of 2018, now theoretically the car's one year older, the price went up. It was 2018 to 2019 because the car was a year old. The price went up over the cusp of December. And, that, and then when I went to have a look at the advert views, how many times this particular variant was being viewed, I saw a gradual increase in consumer demand during the course of the end of 2018. And then it started to make sense. You guys were pricing the cars up, okay? Because there was more demand for that particular variant. But it happens very, very quickly. So book values are a lagging indicator of demand. Live market data is a leading indicator of demand. And they both have their place. 
So if you think about leading indicators of demand and lagging indicators of demand, leading indicators of demand is where you can see the demand on a real-time basis. Now, we have a product uh, uh, for that called Fusion, which some of you are, are on, um, which then gives you that leading indicator of demand. But it's, you can do that manually. It's, you don't have to be on our product to, to do it. We just try and make it quicker by, by having produced a product like that. Okay. The thing with the book values is it's not live. It's got no variant level data. Okay, so you're at make model level. And that's part of, part of the challenge of valuing cars. You've got to get down to variant and equipment level um, valuations. What about a fully stacked M3? It's going to go for much more than an M3 with less, less equipment on it. Now how do you get to, to, to what, that, uh, what that trade or retail price needs to be? And then, I think it was Martin, said, Banks and insurance companies are over-reliant and integrated with the book values. And that's part of the industry problem that we are going to try and help change over the next year or two. Even if we have to go to the banks and insurance companies and say, here's auto trader data, please use it because our customers need it. Because part of the problem, you would agree, is the equity in the car is based on book values. Sometimes the live market data shows that there's lots of equity. I mean, there was a, 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 was it a Land Rover that was sold on instant offer the other day? Um, there's a hundred grand in equity in that car. And that's because the live market data shows demand for it. <laughs>